Welcome. Come on in. It's Thursday and it's happy hour. Home happy hour to be exact. So grab a drink and let's get started. Hi everybody, it's Claire Paris with the Paris Group Realty LLC in Portland, Oregon. And today we're at Pistols Nursery. Um, and this is just kind of for you guys that are thinking about buying plants or you want to get more plants, indoor house plants, or even exterior house plants, or any kind of plants, you should come here. <laughs> um, so we're going to highlight five different plants today that are great indoor house plants um, that they have here that you can purchase. Um, and they're going to add great things to your life. They're going to clean the air. They add peace and tranquility. Um, they just kind of make you feel better when you look at them. Sometimes I talk to them. It's really kind of nice. <laughs> so um, first, a few things that you should know. You want to consider what you are capable of as far as care, right? So it's kind of like a pet. Um, if you need something that you can just leave for a couple of weeks and not have to worry about, that's going to be a different plant than the one that's like a subtropical plant that has to be watered every three days or it's going to die. So definitely take into consideration what you can do and what you're capable of before you choose a plant. And the people here at Pistols are great at being able to tell you what that plant would look like if you were going to choose on the side of spend two weeks and not worry about it. So we're going to highlight a few of these plants. What are these plants? So Asplenium is an amazing house plant, but this plant needs a lot of moisture. So you're going to want to keep it moist. Sometimes you probably have seen those spray bottles. You're going to want to mist it on a regular basis. So this is a delicate plant. And if you are not into taking care of plants, this probably isn't the plant for you. So here we have philodendron. As you probably know, any of you people that are old hat at um, indoor house plants, a philodendron is just the, the classic indoor house plant. This is a um, genus phil uh, philodendron birkin. Um, it's a pretty hardy plant. Um, it can deal with indirect light. It doesn't need a super amount of watering. You can um, water it and then like let the soil dry out to the touch before you water it again. So a little less maintenance. On to our next. <laughs> so the next plant that we have to highlight is Pilea peperomyodes. Did I get that right? I'm not sure I did, <laughs> but the people here at Pistols will be able to tell you. Um, for all the lay people, it's a Chinese money plant. This plant requires less water. You want the roots to dry out. They don't like to be wet um, and indirect bright light. So you can pretty much put this thing anywhere and it's going to go crazy. I have a really big one at my house and I love it. All right, everybody, this is what you see constantly on Instagram. <laughs> this is the Grand Monstera. This um, varietal is called Deliciosa. You know what that means. Um, there are an unbelievable amount of different monsters. I'm sure you've seen all the ones on the amazing Instagram feeds that are like monstrous plants <laughs> with um, amazing um, variegated leaves. And then sometimes um, the leaves have like pieces taken out of them. They're so cool. Anyways, Monstera likes um, consistent watering. They don't like to be too wet. They don't like to be um, too dry and they like indirect bright light as well. But these things, depending on the one you pick, can grow to be a, just a humongous plant. So you want to have enough space for it in your home. <laughs> so the next plant we're going to highlight is called Tridiscantia nanook. Um, this is almost a vining plant. It can be, um, and it, you can see the variegation in the leaves and it actually has a bit of a touch of purple, which is so cool. See how cool that is. So um, these like to be moist again, because most of these are most indoor house plants are tropicals <laughs> um, and this likes to be never fully wet. So just a little bit damp all the time. It doesn't need misting on its leaves, but the soil can be damp and not too dried out. Um, again, another beautiful house plant for your indoor areas. So I hope that you've been enjoyed all the information about these amazing plants that you can add to your home that will really add great 
peace. Um, it's just a sense of calm in your space and also make the air really tasty. <laughs> um, so why as a seller do I care? I mean, why would I have houseplants? Um, when people are walking through your home, I know it's hard to believe, but they're getting a sense of the space through the things that you fill your house with. And nothing says luxury or um, peacefulness like a big, glorious houseplant. So um, we actually help people with some houseplants. We sometimes will help you stage with houseplants because plants really make the space feel alive and vibrant. And that translates to dollars for you. Thanks so much for tuning into this week's Home Happy Hour. We'll see you next week. Cheers.